All right, so this is the left side. I had 997 miles when I took it out. This is board 20 over. So I could bore it again someday if I needed to, which I won't. Um, so everything's clean, you see. Just as I described earlier. Heads. Just a little carbon. I was running 76 main jets because I was breaking it in. I wanted to rather have it fat. Usually you run a 72 main jet. All right, so I'm going to pull this plug out. This is my best guess so far. Somewhere there's an obstruction. Either that or some kind of plug fell out. I, I just don't believe that. I think it's a mud dog. All right, so I removed that oil plug. That's the end of the cam. Forgot to plug it when I spun. And it definitely has oil. So I'll clean that up. This is progress. This explains why I do have oil on my lifters and on the camshaft lobes. But it does not explain why there's no oil going up top. Okay, looking at my endoscope that's looking at a cam lobe. So we're seeing Machine oil. In fact, it's getting right on the lens. I'm just turning at this RPM, showing 60 pounds. So I'm showing 60 pounds. We're seeing air bubbles here, but we're not seeing oil right the oil is doing something but the oil is not coming up through there this is progress though all right so i'm rotating the engine i'm getting some oil up here i'm not getting oil up to the top up there yet i find minute amount of oil on the cylinder walls just like i expect to I just notice that i don't know what happened there all right, something happened. Some little thing happened, 997 miles, but whatever it is, it's in the past. Okay, so it's a lot of good news. We just don't have an explanation for lack of oil to the rocker still. We're going to. All right, so still some a little bit of cross, cross hatching here and there, but it's, they're seated. Uh, got a little, you know, feels good, feels okay. Some oil. Not totally happy yet. Well, I am getting oil into all of these. But not like I remember. I remember it. Well, this one's up now. I've been rotating. But this one filled up better than the other ones. Whatever that might mean. And the oil has to come from here and go up those. So, so that's where we stand. We got oil. Just not as much as I remember. All right, good news. I do have oil coming up to the top now. Well, I'm going to tell you. I would, before I put this on ice, I only drove it once or twice a year. So, I would always do this before I drove it. And what I would do is drain the oil out, even though it had only had 100 or 200 miles on it. And then I'd just put it in a car and put new oil in this. That way I could look at the oil. And I was using Kendall. This, what's in here now is Kendall Synthetic. So, I never had this problem before. The only thing I can think is, is that rotating it allows something to happen that needed to happen. 
that uh, didn't happen in the past. But I have come across these references that uh, you need or should rotate the engine when you're priming it. Again, in, in the 20 times or something that I did this, uh, never had that happen. Get oil up top and everything would be good. So, I guess the explanation is if you're not getting oil and you, sure, you should be getting oil, and you're priming like this, then rotate the engine over here and there as you're priming. And I made, I don't know, maybe two rotations. So, um, I'm gonna button this up and we're gonna set it up and fire it up. So, we got about 75 pounds oil pressure. We know that we've got lots of oil going through the can because we saw that huge squirt. Well, I saw it. You saw the effect. We do have oil coming up here, just not as much as I recall. But there's oil up there. At this stage, I'm going to put the video up of this just to see if I can get a little feedback, which I probably won't. I mean, a video like this might get a thousand views in a year. So, it's unlikely I'm going to get a response. On the other hand, I have someone who's interested in this engine. And I want him to see this. And, um, then I'm going to button it up. And, uh, try and fire it up. Not today. So, the path is... Okay. okay so that's the back. So, we'll call that the oil pressure. This is the one I was trying to remove. You have to remove the cylinder head to get to this plug in here. Okay, so it comes up, goes here. It can't go through there. Goes around and up. Okay.